Hello, welcome back to the Mark Jannard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the Windows command prompt. You're going to want to know how to do this. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. The Windows command prompt, sometimes called the DOS prompt, is a tool that allows administrators to invoke system-wide commands to make administration easier and more efficient. The average user has little use for this tool. Many administration prevents users to have a command prompt enabled for their access, as to is considered good practice for system hardening. Disabling the command prompt could be perfect prevention for intruders. Let's consider that you are required to conduct a test against a system and figured out that CMD is disabled and you are the only allowed uh, and you are only allowed to browse uh, to browser files only. The, uh, that's really challenging and you can't run your commands easily and using bad script bat, bat scripts is not enough and may produce several errors and mistakes because it is still not an interactive mode to troubleshoot if scripts executed on um, executed or caused an error. Prevent access into CMD first. So let's disable the command and prevent users from using it by following these steps. Execute the GP, uh, gpedit.msc from run dialog. Okay, then navigate into user configuration, administration, uh, administrative templates, and then system. Make sure to click on the system folder rather than expanding it. Okay, double click on an entry labeled prevent access to the command prompt and select the enabled option. After clicking an apply button, you will figure out that the command is disabled and may the following message will display every time you start the command. Bypass disabled uh, slash restricted command may writing custom made batch scripts helps to execute stored commands, but that's not a solution while doing internal testing and you want to use some other tools which may require interactive prompts. So what <laughs> so what I did is I have built a small GUI app using Pascal which allows you to run that commands through command and capture the output of it and redirect the content into a visual component, the T memo. In this way, you have enough small undetected tools to accomplish your audit without spending so much time writing bad scripts. So what do you think about this video? I want to know your, your opinion. Please comment. Uh, I will respond to you. Please hit the like button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video. And subscribe.